Hello, you wonderful people. Today we are talking about the rowing machine, and more specifically, the rowing monitor itself, and how we can utilize one of the best pieces of information on the machine. What is that piece of information you might be asking? It is the split per 500 meter. Now, if you're fairly new to rowing and you try to sit down on the machine and get yourself set up and then pick up the handle and start rowing, you probably have no idea what is on the screen, what any of these numbers mean. The numbers are constantly changing and they're just flashing before your eyes. Well, today we're gonna clear up some of that confusion. Now, if you take a look at what I call the centerpiece of the screen, it's either gonna show you units of watts, calories per hour, or split per 500 meter. This centerpiece number is shown and changes instantaneously with each stroke that you take. Because unlike something like a treadmill, you can't set a certain speed on a rowing machine. You create the speed, the power, the effort, etc. So with every stroke you take, these numbers will change depending on the force that you're putting behind each stroke. If we take a look side by side at all three of these different units while doing a steady state continuous row, you'll notice that the watts and the calories per hour units are changing constantly, almost every single stroke, while the split per 500 meter number remains relatively constant. So why is it that two of these numbers are changing a lot while the other isn't changing as much? Well, it's because you can have a drastically different calorie per hour burn or wattage produced because of the wide value range that this number can have. While with a split per 500 meter, even a drastic difference in your power output is only gonna make minor changes compared to these other numbers. Just so we're on the same page here, a split per 500 meter is showing you instantaneously at your current effort level how fast you would finish 500 meters at that second. Because remember, these numbers change, but for each stroke, whatever number it shows you at that current effort level, that's how quickly you would complete 500 meters. So now we have this unit that's based around time compared to something like watts, which has a ton of different value changes. If we take a look at a near maximal effort level row compared to a low effort row, you can see that these numbers really aren't changing that much relative to watts and calories per hour. So you might be at the point where you're like, Austin, so what? Who cares? Well, when it comes to training on the rowing machine, and especially if you're training for long periods of time, the split per 500 meter setting can provide you with the knowledge that you want to know on your effort level without having a number that's constantly changing every single stroke you take. Yes, the split per 500 meter varies a little bit, but for the most part will remain relatively constant if you keep your power level constant. Whereas with watt output or calorie per hour, these numbers will be constantly changing each stroke even if you're maintaining relatively the same amount of power, even slight changes will change these numbers. And that is not fun to look at, especially when you're rowing for a long time. Split per 500 meter gives you an easy to understand and manageable way to track your improvement and progress on the machine each workout. Now these other units do have their time and place. If you're doing a 10 stroke maximal effort power row, then you wanna see the highest number, the most accurate number possible, in which case you would use the wattage. But in most cases, the split per 500 meter is gonna be the best unit to follow to help you track your performance and consistency throughout the workout. Anyway, friends, thanks for watching the video and thank you guys so much for your support. If you've got other video suggestions for me, leave them down in the comments below and I'll see you next week for another video. Take care.